in which situation a limit does not exist. When does L not exist? Here is a situation in which in which L does not exist. So this is A. And here for this function limit of f of x as x approaches a from either side is d and e. However, the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right, this is like a power for a, from the right, right hand limit. That one exists. So the limit from the left, I'm going to put some numbers here, like 5 and 3. The limit from the right is 5. Why? As x approaches a from this side with values larger than a, the function values get closer and closer to the value 5. Same thing for limit. Sx approaches a from the left. This is a power that is a negative, just negative symbol of f of x. <clears throat> Does this limit exist? Uh, let's say Isaac. Are you there for it? Say it again. I didn't get it. Uh, which part? I'm still um, trying to understand when the L doesn't exist. So when X approaches A from this side, the function values get closer and closer to which number? To a 5. Perfect. As X approaches A from this side, the function values get closer and closer to which number? To 3. Very good, awesome. Since 5 does not equal 3, we conclude that the limit <clears throat> from f of x as x approaches a from either side does not exist. Better, everyone? Questions? Do all limits have um, a coming from the left and the right? All limits are coming from the left and from the right? You, um, the one limit you said, this is the right limit and this is the left, do we always have to um, explain that saying, like, this is the, like, right about underneath of it saying this is the right limit, this is the left? Um, it depends on the problem. Okay. But it's a very good question. So I may be asked to find the limit from the left only. I may be asked to find the limit from the right only. Or I may be asked to find the limit from either side, and then I have to look at both. Oh, okay. Very good question. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So here's a situation. So here's this function. Can anyone give us the domain of this function? Negative infinity, positive infinity. Very good. Awesome. Good. So the function exists everywhere. So if you cross it with a vertical line, you will, you will always hit the function in only one point, of course. OK, perfect. So this is a again. And let's say this is 5. And I want to find the limit of f of x as x approaches a from either side. Who has not spoken so far with us? Uh, what about Josh? Uh, what was the question? The limit of f of x as x approaches a from either side for this function. Oh, would they be approaching 5? Very good. So I do not want you to confuse the domain 
So even in the situation in which this function looks like this, which will have domain anything but A, it's not defined at A. I don't have a full point at A anywhere. Even for this function, the limit is the same. So a function has a limit only from either side, only if both sides approach that value. But the function doesn't have to be defined at that point. Defined or not, at that point, the limit is still the same. Exists. It exists. So this is without A. So this example has a domain all real numbers. This example, it does not have all real numbers. It's not defined at A. But since both sides go to the same value, then the limit is 5. The limit exists, assuming that this is 5. Any questions? So this here, it's called a jump. In this case, the limits from either side exist. But the limit from I, so the limit from the left exists, the limit from the right exists, but the limit from either side does not because the function does not approach one number that I can name. Here, in both situations, the function approaches one number and I can name that number. Defined or not, doesn't matter. The function values as x approaches a from either side, the function values approach 5. The limit exists in both cases, defined or not. Here's another situation in which the function does not have uh, limits. Here it is. Uh, yes? Question. Anytime, when yes. You say it's not defined. That means it can be a whole? It is a whole. Okay. Gotcha. Yep, it is a whole. So here's another situation. So this function, so if this is a, the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left, and the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right, can anyone tell us, um, yes, tomorrow, what do you think the limit from the left of this function is? Um, from the left? Yes. It would be A. From the left. As or it's X, a negative infinity. From the left. From the left. Are we looking at the domain or the range? Sorry, I did not hear the question. Okay. So the limit of the function as x approaches a means okay. when so x approaches a from the left. Okay, we'd be going to infinity. Perfect. Awesome. Right. And what about the other one? Negative infinity. Indeed. What about now limit as x approaches a from either side of f of x? Does not exist because they're different values. Of course. Great job. Thank you. Even this is DNE because it's not a number. But we do not write DNE. But it doesn't exist. This is a symbol. This is not a number. It's still DNE. That's correct. But we cannot write this. We have to write the type of DNE. And that's why x equals a represents for this function. Mickey? What was the question? I couldn't hear you. That's okay. Sorry about that. So what does this represent? Because the limit from the left is infinity and the other one is another type of infinity. What do we call x equals a? Vertical asymptote. Great job. Thank you. It's a vertical asymptote. So there are basically four possibilities. Positive infinity to positive infinity on both sides. Negative infinity to negative infinity for, on both sides or positive on one side and negative on the other, or positive on this side and negative on the other. Any combo. 
In this case, x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote. Great job. Thank you. Okay, I would like us to um, look at uh, our book. And let's choose from there a couple of examples. I'm sharing the screen. That's not what I meant. I didn't mean that. Where is my book? I lost my book. No, I found it. Okay, moving on. So let's go back to 2.2 .2 exercises. Sorry, guys, I have to move you. You're in the way all the time. Kidding. Okay, I would like us to uh, look at some graphs. Here's a graph. So this graph is asking us to answer all these questions. Where are they? Why am I having difficulties with this here? Okay. So we have all these questions to answer. Problem six in 2.2. For the following, uh, for the function h whose graph is given, state the value of each quantity if it exists. If it does not, explain why. So the first question is limit of h of x as a x approaches negative three from the left. Negative three from the left. So this was uh, problem six in 2.2. .2. First question is limit as x approaches negative three from the left. Can anyone give us the answer? Is it four? One, two, three, four. Awesome. Next question. Limit of h of x as x approaches negative three from the right. So limit of f of x as x approaches negative 3 from the right. Oscar, will you tell us? Can you repeat again the question? Uh, so it's this part. Do you have the book up? Yeah, I just got it. OK, good. So limit of h of x as x approaches negative 3 from the right, that's part b. Part b. Negative 3 from the right. Still same value of 4. Very good. Next question. Uh, limit from either side of negative 3. Limit of f of x as x approaches negative 3 from either side. Should be 4. Very good. Moving on. Uh, limit, uh, no, age of negative 3, age of negative 3. It's undefined because there's a hole. Undefined, and there is no full point at this, on this vertical. There is no full point anywhere at negative 3. Great job. As you see, the limit exists, but the function is undefined. Good. Uh, Moving. And, uh, or... Say it again. I didn't understand that that question. What do you? Uh, which part? Uh, the question that we just did. But uh, we, there were four questions in there, so I'm not sure which one. Understood. The first, the second, and the third one is the fourth one that I. Didn't understand. It's a full, it's an open point. Do you see it? Enlarge it. Maybe it's not large enough for you. It's an, it's an open point. The function is undefined there. You see it's, an, it's a hole in the graph? Yeah, I see it. So the function is undefined at negative 3. Is that okay? Yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so limit from uh, age of x as x approaches 0 from the left. Limit of age of x as, um, as uh, x approaches 0 from the left. 1. Uh, we see it 1. Do you all agree with 1? Yeah. Okay, the next one was uh, 0 from the right. Negative 1. 0 from the right is negative 1. Do you all agree with negative 1? Um, 
okay, the limit of, from the function of the function when x approaches 0 from either side. Limit of f of x as x approaches 0 from either side. D and E. D and E. Awesome. Yep. Uh, age of 0, please. Age of zero is one. Do you all agree with age of zero being one? Yes. Perfect. Uh, limit of age of x when uh, x approaches two. Two. Yes. Do you all agree with two? Yes. Okay. Age of two. Undefined. Undefined. And a limit uh, from age of x when x approaches 5 from the right. 3. Three. 5 from the right, I see 3, indeed. And 5 from the left. 3. That is D and E. That shows that the function is oscillating. It's not stable. It's up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's not, it's not approaching any particular number from the left. So that would be D and E. So it is possible, not just when the two are not the same, but it's possible when from one side um, can be D and E. Doesn't it arrive at five though? No. It's oscillating. Okay. It's oscillating all the time. Okay. Um, I would like to us to look at um, the piecewise defined function that I wrote solutions for for you, and I'm going to post them when we finish. And I'm hoping that you have this graph in front of you. I'm going to stop sharing because I would like to ask a few questions here. Okay. Um, is it clear or is it not? Is, it, is this better? It was all right before. Okay. Oops. Okay. So um, I would like to determine the limit um, from either side at zero. That would be zero, wouldn't it? Absolutely. The limit from um, either side at one. That would be one. Excellent. You can also see it here very easily. The limit from the left is one. The limit from the right is one. How much is the function value at one? Three. Very good. What is the limit from the left of two? Negative one. The limit from the left of 2. Negative 2. Perfect. What is the limit from the right of 2? That's negative 1. Good. And what is the limit from either side of 2? D and E. D and E. What is the value at 2 of the function? Not the limit. The value. Negative 2. Great job. So that's why. Well, that's one of the reasons why we need to be able to uh, translate this into an, a, a correct graph so we can read our limits. That's one. I have a question. Here. Yes, Wait, yes. No, so this was like the, this was the homework. So my question was, I thought they couldn't overlap. So it says that 2 minus x to the second, if you look under like that function under 2, it says negative, like so you would plot 2, negative 2, and then 2, negative 1. So I see where you have your two closed points, but wouldn't that orange line kind of go over that, I think it's red or black line? Absolutely not. This is 2, negative 2, which is a full point, and 2, negative 1, which is an open point. Okay, so you're... you're so this is a parabola. This is a parabola. Uh -huh. but, but at 2, there is only one value. It's negative, I, it's negative I two. I could draw a point that would over, like, lap that. So. It cannot be. So this, this function cannot, so what I'm saying is, so this is my page seven. So what you're saying is that the function does this, 
And this one starts here? Uh, yeah. How is it possible? Not like that, but like kind of overlaps it. Like, it like it's that. not possible because one function is between one function is between one and two, one and two, and the other function is between uh, two and infinity. So this one cannot do this. So if this one stops here, the other one starts the, at the same value that you cannot touch the other one. It's not possible. It would not be a function. It's, it's not possible. These are two different separate, completely separate uh, x values. No, I know they were separate, but I was just asking. Because... Yeah, yeah. So one of them is a parabola, mm -hmm. and the other one is a line. But they will, they will never touch. They will never be on the same uh, um, x value, because it's a function. Otherwise, it will not be a function. I understand. Is that better? Yeah, I understand. I cannot draw it as a straight line. If I if this were a straight line, it would have not appeared very close. But this is a parabola. I have to graph it as a parabola. A parabola looks like this. So I had it like yours at first, but it was really close. Like those two points were really close. So they cannot they cannot be. That's why I have three different colors. This is green, this is purple, and this is orange. No, I know. The purple and the orange were really close, so I got scared and I just... No, it. because I have to graph the parabola. No. Better? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, um, moving forward, let's try to finish this up. Um, I would like to discuss what it's called. Um, let me just... Um, yeah, I would like to talk about the infinite limits and um, uh, a little bit more. So that's my page seven. So at the end of this section, let's go. Let me share my screen and go back. Now here is an application which is a very interesting application with a patient who receives a a.